Good afternoon. We're coming on the air at this hour because the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, has just released new guidance from the CDC in the face of an urgent crisis in this country involving the coronavirus and the spread of the Delta variant. The CDC reversing mask guidelines that had been issued just two months ago. I know this is going to sound very confusing, but the new guidance is for fully vaccinated Americans in this country. They're now saying that you should put the masks back on when you're out in public and going indoors when you're in an area of substantial or high cases of rates of COVID or in areas with low vaccination rates. Essentially what they're seeing that is the difference based on new data involving this Delta variant is that those who are fully vaccinated, that, it's that it is possible for you to infect others uh, with the virus. That is something that's become clear just in recent days. And she pointed to new data, Dr. Walensky. She said the science is related to this Delta variant. Uh, it has outsmarted us again. It's trying to find ways to continue to survive among the unvaccinated in this country. And apparently, given this new data, they now believe that although the risk is still small, if you're fully vaccinated to get this and to have symptoms, it is possible that even if you're fully vaccinated, you can then shed the virus and transmit the virus to others. So out of an abundance of caution, they're now saying in areas of high risk or in areas with very low vaccination rates that if you're vaccinated, you should wear masks back in public places, indoors, large gatherings to try to avoid any risk of giving the virus to others if you happen to become one of those breakthrough cases. Now, you might be asking, how does this affect my children who are getting ready to go back to school? The CDC director saying moments ago that children should still go back to school but as we all know that if you're under 12 in this country, you're not yet eligible for a vaccine. The CDC, Dr. Walensky moments ago, suggesting that all school districts wear masks, vaccinated or not, in school settings. That includes staff, uh, teachers, uh, students. And again, the primary reason is to protect uh, the potential for transmitting the virus, uh, even if some staff and teachers are vaccinated uh, in those classroom settings.